Hi, welcome to the demonstration of Android Grocery Store. This is an innovative system that allows the user to shop the grocery items online. The system reduces the time and expenses bringing the whole shopping process online. The front end is Android Studio and back end is SQL Server which is on the server communicating with the Android application in the real time. The user is allowed to search for the products based on their categories and filter the items on the basis of their price or names in the increasing or decreasing order. The system gives the user an innovative floating cart experience which he can find on almost all the pages and open as a small layout without leaving the current page. The UI of this application is very wise and user friendly where the home page itself displays the top 5 items of all the categories giving the idea to the user what major categories are used. The user has to register himself into the system before buying a product and the system saves the user until he logs out. So let's see how it works. So this is the user module now. Let's go to grocery store. So since I've already logged in, it takes me to the dashboard directly. So here we have used a scroll bar as well as a horizontal scroll bar here. So we have major five categories here, fruits and vegetables, staples, personal care, meat and household. So as you see your right arrow, the right arrow and the more button depicts the same action. It takes us to the category page. So for easy navigation, since we have many modules here, we have used a navigation drawer. So let's start with the first module. It says my profile. So this is my profile where the address and my contact details can be updated. Let's go to my orders. So I have not made any orders yet. So it is not showing me anything. And home I've just shown you. This is the dashboard. So for example, if I click on fruit apple, so it will show me all the images here. Since we have used only one image, this can be changed. So this is the price, the description and the quantity. If I want to increase the quantity and add to cart, it says added to cart. And lady finger was already in the cart. So you can see it here. Likewise, let's delete the lady finger. And now you will see the apple here. So this is the floating cart. If I close it and if I click it again, so this is the floating cart. It doesn't leave the page. And if I click on proceed, it will take me to the cart module here. That is the next module in the navigation drawer. We'll come back here. Let's uh, go to the category pages now. So this is fruit and vegetables. So you will see two arrow buttons at the bottom of the page. They are not active yet as uh, we show only nine items per page. So here above you will see three options or menu items I'll say. One is profile. If I click on profile, it will go to my details back here. Let's go to fruits and vegetables. And second is my floating cart. Since I have apple in my floating cart. And third is filter. So now by default, you will see everything is in the alphabetical order. So let's change it to descending order now. So now you see it changed to the descending order. Okay, so let's go to meet. So we have only one item. Let's add this to cart. Let's proceed. Okay, so now I have two items here. Let's continue. It, we have two options here, debit card, credit card and cash on delivery. So let's click on cash on delivery and place my order. So your order is placed successfully. Let's go to my orders page now. Okay, so this is my order with the order ID, with the amount, with the items and the status is said submitted. So the status is changed in the admin side as well as the items that we have seen in the modules are also added in the admin side which you will see in the admin part of the video. So that's it for the user module. Thank you. Welcome to the admin part of grocery store. It starts with the login screen. Here you need to enter the credential. Here you can see all the product by its category like 
फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल हाउस होल्ड मीट एक्सेट्रा इफ यू क्लिक ऑन एनी स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट यू कैन सी इट्स डिटेल लाइक इट्स प्राइस कैटेगरी एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू क्लिक ऑन मेन्यू इन फ्लेटर यू कैन सी द टू ऑप्शन अपडेट प्रोडक्ट डिलीट प्रोडक्ट इफ यू क्लिक ऑन अपडेट प्रोडक्ट हियर यू कैन गेट दी प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स एंड यू कैन मॉडिफाई इट हियर यू कैन सी द प्रोडक्ट नेम इज अपडेटेड and one option is also there delete product here you can see the product is deleted if you want to add new product so by clicking the floating button you can add new product like here you you have to enter the product name like sample its price you need to select four images and product description here you can see the product is successfully added you click on meet option you can get the product like here in navigation menu you can see the few option like products users orders and logout if you click on users here you can see the users list with their name mobile number and address If you click on orders you can see here the order list with the order status If you click on any order status you can see option for update the orders like you can update the order Here you can see the order status it updated And the last option is logout option Thank you